everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome to my first ever Planet Zoo video. So since this is my first video, there is a lot of things that I have to ask you guys about because I have no idea if the way that I did this was correct and if it will be enjoyable for everybody to watch because I don't know if this is too fast because I am a very very slow builder like when I build in Planet Zoo it is not fast at all like <laughs> I build very very slowly so I would really appreciate it if you guys could tell me if this is maybe too fast or not fast enough or maybe just right like I did it perfectly the first time which would be a miracle <laughs> but yeah also I don't really know how I managed to edit this because I was playing this for about three to four hours it took me such a long time to finish this one small little building I have no idea how I'm going to do a lot of buildings including a lot of habitats but I'm sure I will get there eventually and I'm sure I will make a bunch of videos on this game because I do love it so much usually if you do already follow my channel you will know that I've only uploaded Sims content in the past and I'm not planning on stopping that at all I am still going to be posting a bunch of Sims content it is my absolute favorite game so don't worry about that at all but I do also really love Planet Zoo so I wanted to give it a go on my YouTube channel because I mainly make videos for the fun of it for the content and the things that I like to watch so let me know what you guys think about it and how you feel about Planet Zoo I'm guessing if you clicked on this video you probably like Planet Zoo <laughs> but yeah this is my first ever time doing this so also please let me know what you guys think about the building I did go into Pinterest and literally just typed in zoo entrance and I got a bunch of beautiful beautiful designs if you guys are ever in a pickle with this game just go look on Pinterest honestly there is so many gorgeous things on there but for me I got a picture of like four different designs on one little picture I think it was drawn like maybe digitally but I did choose one of those because it was just so pretty I loved the design obviously it's not perfect I did make my own choices and make my own little changes and stuff but the general shape of it and some of the windows are the same as on the design so if you have seen it before that is why I just took a took inspiration off of Pinterest but yeah the building that I am building now is obviously the entrance I've never really focused much on the entrance when I played this game I think I probably made like two proper entrances besides this one in the past before so if this isn't perfect just let me know what I could change like please please give me some ideas and some tips and tricks if you guys do know of some other things that I maybe could have done or things that are common in zoos because honestly I am not a zoologist I do not know that much about zoos in general my knowledge of zoos all come from this game like everything I know about a zoo is because of planet zoo so please if there is anything that you think I did wrong or I could have done differently or better please just let me know friendly comments <laughs> I don't want you guys screaming at me like the entrance is wrong and ugly <laughs> But yeah, I also am thinking about the entrance animal a lot since I've been making this the entrance itself I've been thinking a lot about what's gonna be on the other side of it like the first animal you see and everybody does flamingos I get why I also thought about flamingos I absolutely understand why everybody wants to do flamingos and maybe in a future zoo I will but for this zoo in particular I just I'm not feeling it I do not have all of the packs obviously but some of them are currently on a special which is great so if I am going to buy one now I'd probably get the new wetlands one because I love the animals in it or I'd get the Africa pack because I love the idea of having meerkats at the entrance of the zoo I don't know if many zoos do that but let me know what you guys think about that because I would really enjoy to make a meerkat habitat am I saying that correctly? 
I have no idea. But anyway, yeah. So let me know what you guys think the entrance animal should be because I've had a few ideas actually. Meerkats is just one of them. Meerkats is one of the ideas that I have and I do think that would be very cute because they're so small and cute and I was I have this idea in my head for the habitat already. But if you guys would rather like to see something differently at the entrance, I would be more than happy to make something else. Like we could do flamingos. I, I'm not against it at all. I would love to make a flamingo habitat anyway. And yeah, I already am having so much fun with this. So let me know if you guys would like to see some more videos like this because yeah, this is the first time, like I said, that I am making a Planet Zoo video, so I have no idea if you guys are going to enjoy this at all, or if I should even bother making more. I think I am still gonna make more, because I personally really enjoyed making this, and it's really fun. So far, the editing process and everything has been easier than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly, it's a lot easier than I would have thought. It's still not very easy, but it is easier than I would have imagined. But yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see more of this. Honestly, I, I'm slightly scared that nobody's gonna like it because I usually only post Sims content like I've mentioned. But I really do want to expand my YouTube horizons because I play a lot of games other than Sims and I just feel like it would be a lot of fun to share my gaming experiences with the people who like watching it because I personally really like watching Planet Zoo videos. The lady designer in particular, if you guys know about her videos, I love watching her videos so much. She is so inspiring. Honestly, I love it. If you guys haven't checked her out, do go check her out because if you like Planet Zoo, you're definitely gonna love her content. But yeah, I also in this building, I only put two like staff areas. I think I put in a trade center and a staff room. This is obviously not the main like staff building area, but I did want to get a head start with that. I am going to make another area, probably not decorated yet in the next video, but yeah, for now, this is all that we have. I think it's probably all that we need for now. This is a sandbox zoo. Most of the settings is turned off for like electricity and water and animal welfare and stuff. I also really like playing in franchise mode but I don't think I'm going to have a multiple ongoing series at the moment for Planet Zoo so for now we are just going to be playing in sandbox mode and I'm more than happy with that but let me know what your favorite type of way to play is actually because I normally don't like to play sandbox sandbox mode but for the for YouTube I thought it would be so much fun to just have like freedom in my creativity like no boundaries so let me know how you guys like to play the game because yeah for me personally I love franchise mode the most, but for YouTube, I did think it would be a lot better to do sandbox mode. So, yeah. Also, I have no idea what I'm going to name this zoo. Like, I didn't think about anything yet. The only things I could think of were Kiwi Zoo, because I'm the lazy Kiwi on YouTube. And I don't really think that Kiwi Zoo is going to work that well, not because it's a really horrific name, but because my name comes from the Kiwi fruit, not the Kiwi animal, and there is a Kiwi animal as most people might know, so I'm really afraid that by naming the zoo Kiwi Zoo, people are going to assume that it's because there is a Kiwi animal in the zoo, so I'd rather not name it Kiwi Zoo, but if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below because I would be more than happy to pick a name that you guys think of because I personally have no clue. I have no idea what to name this zoo. <laughs> the roofs were also kind of fun for me to make because the fact that I have to like do the little interior first is a bunch of fun to me. I mean, that's the way that everybody does it and how a lot of people recommend that you do it. Like you do the interior first and then you put the roof on because it's just much, much easier that way. 
And I honestly, I can see why, because when I did this and I had to do a few tweaks once the roof was already on, it was a lot more difficult than it was when the roof was off. But in the entrance area, I do have a few like guest facilities. I wanted to make like a entrance tickets and gift shop area, so I used one of the, is it like, can I still classify it as new? Uh, sure let's go let's go ahead and say new the new little counters without the big giant box behind it where these um little peeps or do, do we call them peeps still i i cannot i don't know but yeah the little people can go buy stuff there but the thing is it's not tickets you do not buy your tickets there you actually just buy sweets and donuts and cupcakes and stuff over there I do have an information stand in this building but unfortunately the information stands do not come as a counter alone so I did just make this a bunch of sweets and stuff because I thought that would work the best for the gift shop look like the gift shop effect I did make a fake counter of course because I just had this idea in my mind of like the little gift shop in the corner and you buy your tickets here as well I also did use a lot of billboards you are not going to see in the speed build portion of me putting in actual images in the build like on the billboards like some of them are going to have some of the in-game stuff but I'm going to change most of it I did make custom billboards like not in this speed build obviously but yeah yesterday I made a bunch of cute little things I made a ticket billboard where you can see the ticket prices one where you can see the prices of the gift shop items and a few just general like zoo facts and stuff like that because I just really thought that is the type of stuff that you would see at the entrance of a zoo obviously I'm not really going for realism in the zoo it's not my goal to be super realistic and everything is perfect and everything works in real life like that is not my goal I don't think I would ever be that talented I see a lot of people do that and I am amazed every single time but me I'm not a realism builder like you cannot tell me oh I'm so sorry but that's not how a real building looks I cannot care I, I don't care about the way that a real building looks this is the way that I build <laughs> I feel like the fact that this game is so free, freeing in the sense of creativity and stuff, it really does help a lot of people to show what they can do and who they are. So I would rather just build the way that I build than be told, sorry, this building is not realistic <laughs> because I'm not going for realism. And I know a lot of people do go for realism and I completely understand because it looks gorgeous when you do. But for me, realism is not my main priority. So I'm not gonna go for realism. I don't think I would ever be able to pull that off. Maybe someday, maybe someday in day in the future, but not today, definitely not today. Also, if you guys have like building tricks and tips, also let me know because sometimes I struggle. Sometimes a few things could be very hard to do. Like pathing is an issue, but I feel like I, I did this pretty well. Like you don't see the path, but the area in the staff room for some reason it's a lot lower so in one part of this building you are going to see people's feetsies clip a little and it's not a lot of fun to see that but there's really not much that I can do about that that's not gonna be a big pain in my booty but yeah I also did make a cute little centerpiece area which I thought was a lot of fun I chose a gorilla for the maid statue that you guys are going to see like right now when I built this but let me know what you guys think about it because I almost never make things like this and I thought it was so much fun to do so I might make more of these in the future in other buildings or just as centerpieces on the paths and stuff like that because I had a lot of fun building this and doing the lighting and stuff like that so yeah also talking about lighting I do have to mention because this game when you go indoors it can get very dark sometimes so I am aiming to make a lot of things 
as bright as possible by adding in skylights because I just feel like if you add these skylights it's going to bring in a lot more natural light so you're not gonna have to worry about not being able to see much in the buildings because there's always going to be sunlight coming in unless it's night of course there is no sun in the nighttime but that's also why I added a lot of ceiling lights and like wall lights and stuff as well just for in case I do play in the night then I will be able to see in this building regardless of the time but yeah here I am actually adding in some of the billboards because I just thought, thought it would be such a cute little idea to have a bunch of billboards right as you come inside so that you can see all of the pricings and all of the things like that also there in the middle one there is going to be the in-game video like the welcome planet zoo video I don't know if if you guys know about that one but yeah I did place that video in the middle because I feel like it's quite fun for the two sides to be pricings and the one in the middle to be a cute little just video playing showing you the animals and this stuff so yeah I just feel like that is a lot of fun and these two billboards are going to be like general things like I think the one on the right is going to be oh meets Paul the peacock obviously Paul the peacock he's not in the zoo yet there are no animals in the zoo but he's gonna be here eventually oh and here I am just I'm showing on this side that that's the donut place that is not the donut place that was the information stand and the place where I put the eye like this area this is the donut place so I just switched up the signs I know when you go by there you're not actually gonna get information you're gonna get donuts but I just felt like for my sake I'm gonna do it that way so that I have I'm I'm I feel a bit better about it because there is no other way for me to actually put an information stand right at the center like at once you come inside but yeah let me know what you guys think about it but like I was saying about the billboards I could not finish that once I saw the little signs because I did really want to say something about that but the other billboard is going to be zoo facts and I do mention on it like oh there's over 50 species of animals in the zoo of course there isn't not yet at least maybe one day there will be but at this point at the entrance nothing there is no animal no no species but there will be there will eventually be over 50 species hopefully um and i just thought it was a lot of fun to make the billboards so i definitely am going to make a lot more billboards throughout the zoo and stuff like that because i found it so so fun to make them you will be seeing those at the end in the cinematic shots if any of you guys are interested in that if not you obviously don't have to watch the cinematics i mean it is one building and there's no people going through it at all except for the staff of course because there's no animals so nobody's gonna come inside yet <laughs> but yeah I just felt like it was so much fun to put the billboards up already and stuff like that it was really fun to do and I definitely want to make more but also these little plushies I cannot remember who made them I will check and hopefully I can tell you guys in the next episode but for now we're all just gonna wonder about it <laughs> we're all just gonna wonder if one of you guys do actually know and you guys can put it into the comments for me I will pin that because yeah I am sure a lot of people will want to know so if you guys do know who made these please please put it into the comments and if any of you guys know who made the general gift shop like items I'm sure we will see those as well but for now I'm just placing plushies but yeah I got these and then I got like the everybody knows about that one like the general props one I I cannot remember who made them though so if you guys know about the creator of these as well as the creator for the other like gift shop items let me know I'm sure we'll see them in a second or two but yeah I had a lot of fun picking out the animals that I wanted to place in here because I kind of wanted to look like like oh some of them are already taken and stuff and I just had to add the giraffe into this because as you guys probably know if you have watched some of my other sims videos which you might not have i do not expect that at all the giraffe is my favorite animal by far i love them so much so i just had to add it in i had to 
<laughs> but over here I do say gift shop. I don't think I'm gonna see it in the video, but I did also put tickets on the top of this like little roof in that part. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna see that, but I will probably show it in the next video. But this is the general like items that I was talking about. So if you guys know who created those, please let me know as well. And the last roof thing, I do put skylights into the like this main roof area as well because I just feel like it just brings so much light into the room and I feel like skylights are really really important in a lot of buildings so I feel like if I make future buildings I'm most likely going to add skylights no matter what <laughs> But yeah guys, I do think I personally am going to sign off now and let you guys just enjoy the rest of the speed builds and enjoy the cinematics at the end. Let me know what you guys thought about this video and if you guys would like to see more because I am more than happy to make some more videos for you guys. And yeah, it's the <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye everybody!